Professor Anthony Massey. I'm the provost of McGill University and a professor of sociology. The, the situation that, uh, for deregulation started in Quebec about six or seven years ago when the provincial government decided that for certain disciplines, international students would be removed from a government grant and the tuition that they paid would be able to stay with the university in which they studied. This took about five years to phase in, and McGill has four faculties that are affected, science, engineering, management, and law. Those four faculties are completely, as of today, deregulated from a government grant. So we get no teaching grant for any students who are in uh, those four faculties. Conversely, we don't have to pay back to the government what is called a forfaitaire. Um, there are many benefits to deregulation of international students. The, the, the principal benefit would be that the revenues that the student actually, the, the tuition the student actually pays, would remain entirely with the university that's providing the education. That's a substantial amount of money that can be dedicated to providing services for students, can be used to hire more professors, can be used for student aid. So there's a, a very big advantage to students who have to pay high international fees anyway, leaving those fees with the university. The forfaitaire has been instituted as a way of equity for Quebec students and Quebec taxpayers, but if the international student gets no grant from the Quebec government, then it's the cost of their education that we should be worried about and how we could provide it. So if we get to keep the entire uh, tuition, it has enormous benefits for the university. Yeah, I definitely see it as uh, a negative thing because when it comes to the socioeconomic background of our international students, it w if these deregulation efforts go forward, we're going to see, um, w w some argue we might see an increase. I completely disagree. I think it, we will see a decrease in international students, and not only will we see that, but we will see a decreased diversity of international students and simply only those who do have the capacity to be here with that financial background. We think that deregulation is really important, but it won't affect anybody who's already here. Because they'll be get, anyone who's an international student at McGill right now in any program, whether regulated or deregulated, is given a four-year guarantee. So it would only affect new cohorts coming in, and it would only affect them over a long period of time. That is to say, cohorts would phase in any uh, increased tuition to make up for the loss of the government grant. Okay, I wasn't going to go there. The initial sort of push for all this, McGill's been pushing for this for a long time. Um, the, there have been several reports by the Quebec government re recently, I, the names escaped me, I believe it was one of them is called the Rubyard Report, um, that have essentially advocated for complete deregulation of all tuition. Why? Because as we all know, the Quebec government has been making massive cuts to universities lately, and this would represent an alternative funding strategy for universities to be able to get more money from international students uh, who can pay, um, that the government wouldn't have to then foot the bill. McGill's position was set over a decade ago. We started lobbying for deregulation in light of the unfair charges that we felt were being levied on our international students to make contributions above and beyond what their education actually costs. So uh, I don't think that um, it will have much effect on our thinking about the importance of deregulation. It's been a decade in the making, and I think it's a very solid position. And it's not ideological, it's pragmatic. 